in all of this discussion about politics, we're forgetting a very important issue. Rick? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we've been obsessing about a stimulus bill that's probably not going to happen until after Election Day and the uh, COVID show at the White House. But there was some new, new data out this week showing that at least 3 million people have lost health insurance uh, during the coronavirus recession. And it could be a lot uh, higher than that um, once some of these temporary layoffs become permanent. So by one estimate at the Commonwealth Fund, 7 million people have lost jobs that come with employer-sponsored health insurance. And another 7, excuse me, 7 million people are family members who get insurance through those people. So that's potentially 14 million people who could end up with health insurance if all these layoffs become permanent. Just a reminder, this is a big issue for voters. Um, and Biden um, is ahead of Trump by about 20 points, according to polls, on who would do best on health care. So these, there are a lot of real, real issues that really matter to voters that are, that are the ones that are still going to determine the outcome of this election. And very quickly, this, this, these headlines about they're going to work all weekend over stimulus, big nothing. McConnell won't allow it in the Senate, right? Well, the bigger the number gets, the less likely it is the Senate will approve it. And McConnell has just practically said this outright. We're, we're, we don't have the votes for this kind of bill.